Why binary? Why do computers even use binary? It's kind of a curious system, isn't it, where they're stuck in either either a one or a zero and they have to use one loads of ones and zeros to get things done. Um, and the answer is because of these things called transistors, which are little electronic components which act like switches. So if you have a look at like a light switch on a wall next to you, um, then that is basically what a computer gets to use. And a switch has only got two states, hasn't it? It's either going to be on, so your light's going to be on, or it's going to be off. And that can be represented uh, either as the words on or off, or for computers, it's easier. On is a one and off is zero. So you might think, okay, I've got transistors in my computer. They can be one and a zero, but I don't quite get how they can be mapped to like a video like you're watching now or the computer game that I've recently been playing. And that's because computers don't just have a few transistors. They have got billions of them and then they are switching either on or off also billions of times a second. So when you're dealing with billions of switches, which can switch states billions of times a second, then you start thinking like, okay, well maybe I can have a switch that can represent if a pixel on a screen a little dot on the screen is a particular color because I've got so many of them uh, and they can change states so many times. And so that's why computers use binary to begin with because they all use transistors uh, and they are either on or they are off. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.